What's up guys, Giver here, and uh, we just got us a midweek video going on, and a uh, couple things just to announce. Um, first things first, Fate Reforged giveaway. We're giving away all these commons. This is from last month's uh, giveaway box. Um, so these commons go to subscribers, um, and the winner of these commons is Cole Parmenter. Um, <laughs> yeah, he won the month before as well, but it's all just random, and those things are going to happen when, I mean, let's be honest, we don't have a lot of people commenting and, uh, and whatnot on these videos, so gonna happen and I'm not you know there's no rule against somebody winning one of these random subscriber giveaways twice so there we go congrats Cole um second thing to announce the rivals of Ixalan giveaway for uh, this month so I went ahead and put away the cards that I was I was gonna keep and as you can see, we've got a big old stack of commons already. Um, so we're going to be giving away a huge stack of Rivals commons. But we're also at the point now where I'm starting to uh, to get uncommons that I don't need. Basically, I'm getting more than play sets of uncommons. Um, so this is what came out of the, the first little stack. Um, so as you can imagine... This stack is going to be a little bit more. This stack is going to be a little bit more. So I'd say I'll probably have, if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, there'll probably be 30, 40, maybe more um, uncommons that'll be given away um, for this month's box. And so, just in case you're not sure, the commons, subscribe. As long as you subscribe, as long as you comment, you're good comment on uh, every time you comment on one of the uh, box opening videos there'll be three uh, then that gives you an entry so it would behoove you to comment on all of the videos to get as many chances to enter as possible that's what Cole does seems to work um, secondly if you're interested in getting in on the uncommons then just check out the patreon page and uh, you can see up some of the patreon rewards um, uncommons go to um, five dollar tier and it's not random giveaway it's on a rotating list so the longer you stick with it you're guaranteed to get something um, but all the details and everything like that it's it's on the patreon you can check it out if you want to um, as long as you uh, sign up for the Patreon, um, you know, you get the rest of, for the rest of the month to sign up for the Patreon. Then by the time I draw the, uh, the winner of the, uh, of the uncommons, then, uh, you, you can, you can get in on it. So it's not too late to, to get in on it if you want, um, to have a chance to win some uncommons and pretty much you know the way it works uh, all the uncommons Cole Permenter is the only patreon subscriber so pretty much the next person to join in on patreon is going to be the winner because like I said it just goes on a goes on a list and you rotate so then the next time um, you know person X that would be a patreon would uh, would join um, they would, they would win something and then Cole's won something. So then that means everybody's won something at least once. And then the names get, uh, or the, the wins get erased from the spreadsheet and then you guys can win again. So it's kind of the way it works, but whatever. But in case you haven't already seen, we're going to go ahead and for our little midweek video, open up this commander deck. Um, I've opened up the other three commander decks in the past you can find those videos on the channel um 
but I never opened up this one. And usually I like to do these kind of prepackaged set type things in the midweek videos because, well, I've got some laying around and it's something to open. So anyway, this is the Vampiric um, Bloodlust Commander deck. It is a red, white, black commander deck that uh, kind of features vampires. Uh, maybe I can get this open without completely butchering it. Oh yeah, here we go. And there we go. So, as always, in all of these commander decks, you get a prepackaged, um, oversized foil of the commander. In this case, it's a Edgar Markov. Um, you can check him out right there. So, when you cast another vampire, if he's in the command zone or on the battlefield, you get to make an extra vampire token. The first strike in haste. And, uh... Whenever you attack, you get to put a bunch of counters on your vampires. So that's pretty cool. So, as you can see, just based off that commander, the whole theme of this deck is vampires. So, um, the commander deck itself. Let me get this open. It's a hundred card deck. And you get a normal Edgar Markov foil as well. well you get a Lucia Sanguine Tribune. Costs a lot of mana, but uh, costs one less for each one life you gain this turn, which isn't hard to do with a bunch of vampires. And you get to pay life to put counters on her. Um, you need to put three counters on her so she can grow pretty quick as long as you're gaining life with all those vampires. Mathis Fiend Seeker, another vampire, 3-3 three, three for one of each color. You've got Menace, at the end of your turn, put a bounty counter on a creature. Um, and as long as that creature has the bounty counter, it uh, has the ability when this creature dies, each opponent draws a card and gains two life. So, it's kind of cool. Um, we get some bat tokens, bat vampire tokens. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like the double-sided tokens. I like my tokens to to just be kind of single-sided, but that is cool. I've never seen a bat token, and that's decent art on the vampire token. Looks like the back of these are all vampires. Uh, there must be an Eldrazi. Somewhere in here, did you get an Eldrazi token? And we'll just kind of go through these. Um, kind of looking for the rares, but we'll go through them kind of slowly. So, just in case you see something that you're interested in, you can look. So, hey, there's a Swords to Plowshares. That's cool. Personally, I like the old, like, alpha beta art with just the, you know, the dude with the beard just standing there with the scythe. Like, I've seen things, man. I've seen things. But now I'm just going to harvest this wheat. Um, I don't know what this guy's doing. He, he's all, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Um... Ambitions cost, blood artist. Um, you know, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of make sure that the camera focuses on each one of them, so that you can at least see what we got here. Um, it's commander deck, so there's only gonna be one of each card. So. I'll kind of, if we get to a rare or something, I'll kind of stop on it. But 
or if we get to something that that pops out on me. There's a skull clamp. That's uh that's pretty nutty. <laughs> Quip creature gets plus one minus one, and whenever that whenever a creature dies, draw two cards. You equip for one. So in this deck I can see where that's gonna be pretty crazy because you just got a bunch of small vampire tokens. So if you don't need the tokens or you need to draw some cards or something like that, I mean you just basically one mana. Sacrifice a token, draw two cards. Pretty nuts. Saw ring. Saw rings are always cool. Again, I like the old art a lot better. This just looks like something that came out of a Lord of the Rings movie or something, but it's still saw ring. Kindred Boon, there's a rare. Choose a creature type when it enters the battlefield. Um, pay some mana, put a divinity counter on a creature you control of the type. And then uh, as long as it's got a divinity counter, it gains indestructible. That's pretty ridiculous. Teferi's Protection, this is actually the most expensive card in the set. It's like a $10 card. Um, it's an instant until your next turn, your life total can't change. And you have protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out. And this goes away. So it basically just completely protects everything you got. It's pretty nice against like a board clear or something. So if you get a bunch of vampires and they try to wrath a god or whatever, you just bloop. Phase them all out. Um... I guess. I mean, I guess that the tokens would come back. I'm not real sure. Kiru Mind Eater. That looks like something from some kind of crazy anime or something. 1-3 Menace. When it does combat damage to a player, the exile card from his hand face down. And then you can play those cards. So that's, that's kind of neat. The thing is, you can't, uh, it doesn't have the thing where you can pay man of any color. But since you're playing white, red, black, there's a pretty good chance you'll be able to cast something. New blood. Look at that guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. Um, you get a tap and untap vampire you control. And then uh, gain control of target creature. And turn it into a vampire. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of fluffy. You like use one of your vampires to turn one of their stuff in vampire, whatever. Um, patron of the Bane. Four, four flying for six. When it enters the battlefield, destroy a creature and opponent controls. That's a powerful ability. And whenever a creature and opponent controls dies, exile it, put a plus one, plus one counter on each vampire you control. So that's pretty cool too. Pretty cool. Bloodsworn Steward, another vampire, 4-4. Four, four. Um, flying. And commander creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2. My computer is going nuts. And have haste. So, I mean, crap, 4-4 four, four flying for 4. Not alone the commander ability, that's just, that's just nuts. We got Crimson Honor Guard. Five mana for a four five trample. And at the beginning of each player's instept, it deals four damage to that player unless she controls he or she controls a commander. So there's some really good cards in here. Disrupt decorum. Goad all creatures you don't control. What the heck does that mean? Those creatures attack each combat if able and attack a player other than you if able. Oh, okay. Neat. Kindred Charge. Choose a creature type. For each creature you control of the chosen type, create a token that's a copy of that creature. They gain haste and the exile them. So you basically get to double your double your forces. Blind Obedience. Sorry, my computer. I don't know what in the world it's doing. So you're going to keep hearing doot doot doot. Um, 
Blind Obedience. Uh, two mana. Extort. So you can kind of pay white or black. Um, if you do, each opponent loses a life and you gain that much life. Uh, if when you cast a spell, artifacts or creatures you control enter the battlefield tapped. So. Fell the Mighty. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. So, not too hard to destroy everything when you're when you just got a bunch of little guys. And one rune sage, another vampire. Beginning of your upkeep, each player sacrifices a non-vampire creature. So that's pretty cool. Black market. I like this one. Whenever a creature dies, you put a charge counter on this, and then at the beginning of your main phase you get mana equal to the number of charge counters that's pretty cool blood tribute six mana with kicker tap a vampire you control target opponent loses half is or her life rounded up if it was kicked you gain life equal to the life lost that way my laptop this thing is driving me crazy turn it off so that's pretty cool Got a mythic here, Blood Lord of Vasgoth. Three three vampire warrior for five. If opponent was dealt damage this turn, it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. So that's that's more like it. A six six for five with flying. And whenever you cast a vampire, it uh, gets bloodlust as well. So considerable way to pump up your vampires. Blood Baron of Viscopa. 4-4 four, four, protection from white and from black. And if you have 30 or more life and an opponent has 10 or less life, this bad boy becomes a 10-10 and gets flying. So, that's pretty cool. Butcher of Malakir. 5-4 flying. When it or something else dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. That's kind of neat. I'm, you know, I've gone through all these other commander decks. This might be my favorite. Something about this vampire deck just seems cool. I might have to buy another one of these and actually play with it. I mean, because this is pretty much going to get chopped up and put into the set, binders and stuff. So this one is just... Uh, you know, it gives an anthem effect. All the other vampires, plus one, plus one. And uh, you can tap five untapped vampires you control to uh, gain control of a vampire. Or another creature. This one, four mana, sorcery. Sac target player sacrifices a creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. And uh, it has rebound. So, that's pretty cool. And you know, I was thinking with all the new vampires in like uh, the Ixalan sets, you could probably take some of those cards from there and really, uh, really kick this thing into high gear. I mean, it's got the colors for it. You're, you're already in white and black. Damn the wolf pack. Target player draws X card, loses X life. So not only is it a, you know, it's a finisher, or if you just need to draw some cards, dual purpose. Dark Imposter, Vampire Assassin, 2-2 two, two for 3, pay a bunch of mana, and uh, you just get to exile a creature. That's cool. And it gains all the abilities. A blood Chief. Uh, four four flying for five. Pay two black and an X. Target creature gets minus zero minus X, and she gets plus X plus zero. So that's pretty sweet. Malakar Blood Witch. Four four flying protection from white. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses life equal to number of vampires you control. And you gain life equal to that as well. Sangromancer. Three three flying. 
Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you gain three life. Whenever an opponent discards a card, you gain three life. So, lots of ways to gain life in this. Sanguine Bond. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of rares in here, man. A lot of rares. Skeletal Vampire. 3-3 three, three Flying. Comes in, it makes black bat token stuff so there's where our bats can be used sacrifice a bat create two more bats sacrifice a bat regenerate this thing so man you can make an army of bats that's neat underworld connections enchant land it has tap it pay one life draw card crazy vein drinker 4-4 four, four flying pay a red it deals damage equal to its power to a creature so they basically fight and uh it has a Sinji Vampire ability too. That's neat. Outpost Siege. Um, that's kind of weird. It's, it's cons of Tarkir or Fate Reforged deck where you're picking cons or dragons. Okay. Crackling Doom deals two damage to each opponent, and they have to sacrifice a creature with the power with the greatest power. Merciless Eviction. This is cool. Exile artifacts, exile creatures, exile enchantments, exile planeswalkers. You can choose one. I mean, for six mana, it costs a lot, but, you know, what do you expect? I mean, somebody's dropping a giant bowling ball in a city. It's going to do something. Blade of the Blood Chief. Whenever a creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on a crypt creature. If that's a vampire, put two plus one, plus one counters on it, so... It's cool. Door of Destinies. Choose a creature type when it comes to the battlefield. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, put a charge counter on it. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one for each charge counter. Well of Lost Dreams. Whenever you gain life, you can pay X. If you do, draw X cards. That's crazy. And let's see if there's any. We got swamps, we got mountains, we got plains. Path of Ancestry. Okay, so now we're just getting into. Just a bunch of like common type lands. Guild Gates, Cinder Barons, all that stuff that's. Just helps you. Get the mana that you need in a three color deck. So, there it is. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think this, personally, I think this commander deck looks like a lot of fun. I think it looks like the most fun of the four um i know it's you know these have been out for a while and everybody probably already knows everything in them has probably played them to death i don't know but i haven't um so you know if you're not if you're on the fence about uh picking up commander i really can't recommend because i i've never played commander but of the four 2017 decks, I would probably recommend this one or the dragon one. I think this one looks like the most fun, honestly. Um, the the 2016 decks, apparently they're like really powerful, but they're really expensive. So I don't know if I'd go into all that. This deck, not only does it look fun, but it's also got um, some pretty pricey cards in it. Um, that, that one protection card is like ten dollars so you, you, if you can find this like a walmart or something like that you can find them a lot a lot of times at walmart um for like 30 35 dollars something like that it's worth it um but other than that um i think that's all i got uh again cole congratulations on the, the fate reforged win 
Um, guys, don't forget, check out this Rivals of Ixalan box opening. There were some pretty spicy pulls. And uh, we'll, we'll be doing... We'll be opening the rest of the box over the course of the next couple weeks. And, uh, you know, there definitely will be uncommons, at a minimum, being given away. So, if you want to support the channel, if you enjoy the content, and you also want to get in on uh, getting some of those uncommons whenever we open them up, you know, feel free. Go on there. Check it out. Um, also, it's worth noting... You know, if, if you check out, if, if you read the description of everything you get, um, you know, if you sign up for like $5 or $10 or something like that, every every tier that you sign up for, I will at least send you a card um, of decent value. It's all listed in the on the Patreon page. So, um, other than that, I believe that's all I got. I have a big uh, have a big team tournament coming up this weekend, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, that's on Sunday, so I'll probably be opening this. Um, I don't know Saturday, something like that. Posting it up there on Saturday, but then I go to a team tournament on Sunday, so that should be really fun. I'm playing standard, um, playing my blue black control deck, which I still need to make a video to show you guys, but it's really nothing revolutionary and uh yeah that's that's about it guys i appreciate you guys watching um you know if you like the video throw it a like um throw me a subscribe all that good stuff if you know anybody that's into magic you know tell them about the channel we're I don't advertise, I don't do anything like that. I just let the thing grow naturally. So we're like at like 80 some subscribers. So we're almost to 100, which is pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. You guys have a most excellent rest of the evening. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.